Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Go Sweden. It's Saturday, so it's time to go on a discovery again, on an adventure. Today, I really basically just decided to drive to the north and see where I will end up. I had a spot in mind, which is a bathing spot, like with a huge beach that I was aiming for. But on the way there, I found another one that is, in my opinion, pretty awesome. And why? Well, here is why. <laughs> yeah, I know you cannot see everything. So let's just start describing. That is actually the ocean. So this is not a lake. This is really the Baltic Sea. So not as warm anymore compared to lakes. You have a really, really nice sand beach, a few tables, and you actually also have this thing where you can like go in the water. However, the water is further up front here than the thing. So I don't really know if it's that convenient anymore. Maybe I don't know when they placed it, but it is also today really, really windy. So we have a lot of waves here. But in my opinion, this is really a nice spot. Of course, you also have some boats there, but I don't mind that. But this is not the most interesting thing of this spot because of course water has to be at every swimming spot anyway. So what is the cool thing about this spot in my opinion? You have changing rooms for men and women. You have some room right there and on the other side. So that is already one cool feature. You also have, for example, a volleyball field, a beach volleyball field and in my opinion, the biggest highlight, of course, a sauna. Amazing, just amazing, but it gets even, even better with this spot. So good, actually, that I'm really, really thinking about this spot because of the following right up here. Guys, you can do sport here, then you can chill in the sauna, and then you can take a swim or do sport, then take a swim, then go in the sauna, then take another swim and then use the bathroom, change again and go home. Or play volleyball with your friends if you have any. That is pretty damn cool. And I actually also tried out some things, but I really am weak right now. Like I haven't done anything in years. So <laughs> for example, you can lift some tires or flip some tires. There you can lift some tires. You can also do some bench pressing like right in front of me. All made with wood. You also have like the, those things there where you can fill it up with even more weight that you can get right there. You have some mats if you want to lay on the ground. You have those nice ropes that I really like. You also have some more tires to walk through. I just found this spot again randomly driving up here. Like there's a sign of course saying hey there's a bathing place but you just don't know what it's going to be is it just an entry to the water or is it something so well maintained and built like this place i am really struggling because i kind of wanna stay here if it wouldn't be so windy so i don't know if you can see the trees if you can even hear it i think for now this is the end for today of this spot. We're going to see each other probably at the next spot that I was actually aiming for. It's also still at the uh, ocean, so it's probably not going to be uh, a nice spot to stay either. We will see each other at the next spot. Okay guys, I have arrived at the uh, swimming place that I was aiming to go to and I have not expected so many people here. Like, I was thinking, okay, there might be a few, it's a nice day, but it's still really windy and probably yeah, too cool to go swimming. And well, I was already at the water, but it was from my level a bit too uncomfortable filming at least like at least in the beginning area right now. And then when I was there, I felt like, yeah, okay, it's not too bad, but now I'm already back. I include some stuff that I filmed with my phone, but it is just too many people, like to be honest. For my comfort level, at least, um, in here you also have like this campground back there and it is definitely a nice spot and I think also at the, this beach like the sand 
wow i don't even know if i know any spot in northern sweden that has so much sand than this one <laughs> so that is definitely awesome and also the waves look really cool but at the same time really dangerous especially when you go swimming alone of course there are a lot of people that could save you but uh, i don't know if i feel comfortable enough to go there in the water like there are a lot of surfers but i have not seen a single person swimming in there so maybe that's a sign why i should not stay here for now i think i have made a decision i will go to gideo the spot where i was during midsummer so i hope that there are not too many people i can swim there that is already a cool thing and I think I can also work there on my computer. It is also not that far anymore from here. Now let's go to the next spot, Gideo. Okay guys, I have made it. I am back in Gideo at this swimming place that I was a few months ago during midsummer evening. Just look at it, it's empty right now. Actually, when I came here, there were a few people However, I did my first Swedish homework already. Now they are gone, so I will definitely go in for a swim. And it is even windy and wavy here as well. It is way more action in the water than I expected. But before I do that, I want to show you around because last time I was here, there were too many people and I didn't feel comfortable show showing you the place. Compared to other spots that I have been to in total though, I have to say, this is definitely not the best, but maybe it's the most off-center one so that you don't have too much attention and you have the sauna, which is always a good thing. However, and I don't know why I didn't have that in mind, I didn't bring any lighter or wood or anything. I could have went in the sauna, but I totally forgot it. Well, it's not too bad. But it would have been nice, to be honest. It would have really been cool to go into the sauna. Let's show you this little sauna place. You have seen the other one today already, so you can compare it yourself if you prefer this or the other one. In my opinion, I have to say I like the other one more because it was two different buildings and here both are in one. So that is clothing for the woman, sauna, clothing man. You will see what I mean. While, while we go in there, there's actually no one in there, I already checked. So, there you go. Sauna, changing room woman, changing room man. Let's go here. There you go. Nothing too special. And also the sauna is nothing too special. You can check it out. That is the oven. And that is the small little sauna. Very, very cozy. Not a lot of people fit in this place, but it's totally enough. Unfortunately, though, you don't have a nice view. So, where well, you could kind of have it when you leave that door open, like there, and then you could look from the sauna in here, uh, out here. But this is basically like the, the highlight of the spot. You also have some yeah, little toilets up here, but I don't know how nice they are. Last time I was, I cannot remember if they were smelly, but I think they were okay. So you have to go through there and you can see them already kind of through there. Oh, it's three actually, I think, not only two. But that is the spot. And in my opinion, even though it is so much smaller than this touristic sandy beach, I just have to say I prefer it because I know there is no one here. I can leave my stuff just like my laptop, just standing right there. And I feel comfortable going in the sauna and everything without worrying that someone would steal stuff. Okay, guys, I wanted to go in the water. I had my legs in. It is so cold. I was really not expecting it. And I want to make a clip where I jump in the water because after I had my feet in the water, I knew that I'm probably not going to jump in the water a second time. And now there are people here, unfortunately. So <laughs> I'm kind of stuck and my, my towel is still there and I don't want to jump in the water screaming like, oh, it's cold, it's cold, when they are here. Maybe I do it off video and then do it again when they are gone. I, I try, my luck. I hope I survive.
after being in the water once, I have to say it is not that cold. I don't know why it was feeling so cold on my legs. It was okay. So let's just do it again because it's definitely not as cold as my mind was like telling me I was really, really struggling to get in the water. I will do it one more time and then, yeah, I will probably chill a bit. Maybe I go again later on, but I just want to jump in now when I have the camera on already here, so... And just like that, I am back home. It's one day later. Well, I totally forgot to make an outro at the beach. I was enjoying my time in the water. Then I went back to my table. I was working on my second Swedish homework. I nearly finished it. Then I was in a phone conversation with a friend of mine. And then it was already like, I don't know, 5.30ish. And I decided, okay, let's go for another swim. Then again, I jumped in the water. And also one thing that you don't see on the videos is how I'm struggling with myself like before, before I'm on camera. And also like on the third time I was standing very close like to, to the water and I was like, oh, why am I struggling again? It's not cold. And then I jumped in and it was really warm and I enjoyed it. I yeah, took my time again and then I went out chilled a bit to like let the sun dry myself the, the clouds that you see in the video they all disappeared at the end yeah so i was getting ready to leave and i was really thinking about like taking my drone out because i took my drone along but when i was leaving on the other side of the lake that you don't see in the video there was actually someone probably having a fire and the smoke all came over here you could even smell it and at the same time i was very ko and i just didn't take my drone out that's the short story basically. I really again felt in love with the spot because it's so quiet and the next time I will be prepared I have everything for the sauna and we will see when this is going to be because I'm not planning so far ahead especially like where do I go swimming. During the next weekend I might go camping. I'm not 100% sure because it also depends really on the weather. If not I probably do something else but one thing that I definitely can say after watching my videos is man, I really have to do sport. I don't want to say I, I was like, man, I'm fat, but I just felt a bit uncomfortable seeing myself. And now that I'm also not in too much pain anymore, I think it's all connecting to this first spot that I showed you that I might go do workouts there and then take a swim after them or do workouts here and you know take a shower but but that is what I have taken out of seeing myself jumping in this water like for real I was like oh no LJ you have to do sport man and I really do I really do okay so today is Sunday the usual as always so right now I'm actually cutting the video I will just include this at the end so with that said, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. We're going to see each other back on Wednesday. But until then, have a great start to your week and have a good one. Bye bye.